Hey guys, Jim the Game Guru, and in today's video I'm going to go into some Attack on Titan, the deck building game. This is it's based off of the anime, the wonderful anime of defeating titans and protecting the town. I'll show you guys a little bit of the box. Very, very cool art. It's amazing. Let's look at the back side there. And you can see some attack on Titan. I'm going to go over the components and show you guys how to play this really fast. Um, it does have a higher difficulty than most deck buildings, most co-op games. Uh, but it is... You do get used to it. After a while you get used to it and then it becomes a lot easier. And then they also have a hard mode on this where if the game gets a little too easy because you get used to it and you and your teammates know what to do every time you play, you can just play at the hard mode or even kind of customize your own difficulty in it to make the game more challenging. But let's go into the components. Let's show you guys how to play. All right, let's dig into some Attack on Titan, the deck building game. Uh, so what we have, I have the, the playing field laid out here. We have five wall tiles. And in this game, you have wall tiles that represent the three walls. Wall Mario, Wall Rose, and Wall Cena. And as you can see here, we've got Wall Rose there. And the three walls are right here. This one wall, two, and then the third one is down here. And in this game, you have three different conditions of losing. Either on a two to three player game, you have, if you lose three heroes you game over if you lose two heroes on a four to five player game game over you also lose if all the walls here are destroyed within the game and then the last condition of losing is if the cards from the main deck are no there's no more cards you run out of them and you can't put any new cards in the district so these are you have five districts within these districts you put down the cards when you draw them from the main deck to make your market you have two cards over here you have a 3d gear which is a, which is gear you can buy to give you additional power as well as some movement uh there's also wound cards that you can get that will if you get two of these and you play two of these your character will die there's a Titans on Attack card, and this is used for Arc Enemy Titans. In this game, you have two different types of Titans. You have an Arc Enemy Titan, and then you have Standard Titans. Arc Enemies are much harder. They're, they're your bigger Titans, like the Female Titan, Armored Titan in the show. And here we go. I can show you some of these Arc, these, um, Arc Enemy Titans. So Female Titan, really cool. It's probably my favorite Titan in the entire anime series. Armored Titan, uh, Deviant Titan. Deviant Titans are a bunch of just... The kind of the regular titans on a way, but just a little stronger. You have the bearded titan, and then you have bean. Uh, there are some additional titans in here. We've shuffled. I've already shuffled four. The reason why these are out of the game is because I f I shuffled four of these arc enemy titans into the main deck. You have multiple heroes you can play with. So you have Aaron, which has abilities. If you play a wound during your turn, you gain plus two power and, and move. Two. Uh, so this guy is, I mean, so he's really cool when you get wound cards. He actually gets a little more powerful. And he also has an ability, each time you defeat a titan, choose a hero, that hero draws a card, which is pretty sick. Mikasa, you have your defense cards can be used to avoid an ambush against any target in this district or an adjacent district. Okay, so I'm going to start them off right here on the second district over here. You do get a really nice uh, start and end of round token that you can flip back and forth that kind of it just basically explains what you do on each of the rounds you have additional heroes like armin sasha levi etc uh erwin and these all these different heroes you can play with um and they'll, they'll have their own additional powers you do have their meeple stands as well here so if you end up losing a hero in this game then you will swap out for one of the ones that are available we have the outside of the, uh, of the districts, which is where the Titans show up, and the inside, which is where the market is. This does have a, it's a pretty complex manual. It's also a really terrible quality. It feels like somebody just printed this on an inkjet printer at home and stapled it. Uh, I, re I really hate the fact that this, this, this manual does not have like a, a really nice magazine style quality paper. This right here is the key page right here. 
This is the one that tells you how to set up the, the main deck. It is the most complicated part of this, ga of this game. This, so if you end up buying this game, make sure you read this page inside and out because you need to set up your main deck correctly. The other page you need to read inside and out is the about Arc Enemy Titans, and I'll explain those as we kind of get to them. Um, so we'll go ahead and start off. I'm going to do Aaron. Aaron, uh, since it's a deck builder, you draw five cards. Actually, you know, first, before when we start the round, we have to draw cards from the main deck. So we get two of them because there are two characters or two players, right? So one of them is surprise attack. You get move one and you get plus four power if you play or have played one or more equipment this turn. Otherwise, plus two power. So that's pretty sick. You get some more power. This one's a maneuver card, and when you get to move one, the player to your right looks at the top four cards of the main deck and places them back on top in any order. The, so in the main deck, what you're going to have is you're going to have different types of cards, and there's not a whole lot of different variety. So you're going to have equipment like the swords here. You have allies like Ian here. You have locations, which give you ongoing abilities. Whenever you play a location, it stays out in the district uh, until it's destroyed. Until the wall is destroyed, or you play another location in the district, uh, which then ends up destroying that location. And then, you, of course, you have Titans, too. These are like your standard Titans here. And then you have special maneuver cards. Like, this one's amazing. It's called Kill Shot. It's cost 7, but it gives you plus 7 power if you're in the same space as a Titan. So really, really, really cool cards. They all have the anime cartoon on them. Like the, their images are all based off the uh, visuals from the actual anime. Yeah, I, I love it. It's And the cards feel good too. They, they don't feel cheap by any means. The only thing, I think, thing that feels cheap in this game is the, uh, is the manual. <laughs> Which is... Uh, Kind of ironic because that's the that's the one piece you want to be high quality so you can explain everything. Um, okay, so here we go. So power in this game is money. It's also used for attack. So I got four core courage and I've got one thrust card. A thrust gives you two maneuvers. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and since he's got four. I'm going to spend two of my power my, to, with Aaron here to buy this long distance scout, scouting information. Okay. And I'm, I'm going to put that in my discard here. I don't have a whole lot of room here, so I'm trying to make do with what I can do here. And actually, let me, let me, let me move this, these walls up a little bit. It, it might make things a little easier. Give us a little bit more breathing room here. Okay, and then I'll move the, the, the main deck here. Okay, so we're here, here, here. And then these are the ones I just played. Uh, so for my other two, I think I'm just gonna buy a 3D gear, and this is plus one power. You put this card, you may put this card back on the 3D stack. If you do, move two and additional plus one power. So Aaron's gonna go ahead and grab that for the last of his power. So he is done. Now I'm gonna go ahead and Mikasa. And I'm going to say one, two, three, four, five. And Mikasa is going to draw four, 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 four courage cards. So we're going to play those. She's got four power. And then she's got one thrust that she's going to play for a movement of two. And unfortunately, I'm not going to use the move. You don't have to use the move abilities if you don't want to. So if you play a move or power cards, you can... If you choose not to, to use them, then that's okay. So we'll go ahead and put this in the discard. I'm not going to move her at all because she's only got four power. She cannot buy this card, Surprise Attack, because it's worth five. She doesn't have five. So she's going to buy two 3D gears and stick them in her discard pile. So she is done. It is the end of the round. Now, beginning of the next round, we flip cards. Ooh, fuel canisters. I like that. Every, anytime you flip the next cards from the deck stack into the district, what happens is um, there's a little bit of glare now from the light over there, and I moved this up, but that's okay. 
anytime that you flip the cards over to put them in, they have to go to the next district that has an available spot from the left side, from the part from the part that's furthest away from the castle. And the deck is the castle. So you go from furthest away from the castle inward. The next available opening is when the where's where the card gets placed. Okay, so let's go ahead and get the next five cards for Aaron. He's going to go ahead and play three Courage and two Thrusts, which gives him four, four movement, and he's got three power. So he can't do anything again, nothing. So he's just going to go ahead and buy a 3D gear because this is worth five, four, and this is worth five. So he doesn't have enough money. That goes in there. He's going to stay put. Mikasa is going to go. She's going to go ahead and play three courage and two thrusts so she got kind of the same thing so she's just gonna buy another 3d gear there we go so we're gonna put that in here now we're gonna go ahead and do a light shuffle and you should see some titans coming up here shortly now we're gonna go ahead and draw two. Oh, look there's a titan seven meter titan this titan right here is gonna go on the outside now whenever you put titans out they go from left to right, which is the furthest away from the castle, inward, an available spot on the outside. Now, uh, let's draw this, the second one. So now, this one had an ambush. Some Titans have ambush. So this says each hero in this district um, discards their hand and draws four cards. If no heroes in this district, add the top card of the main deck to this district, which is cool. So let's go ahead and do that first, which is this, actually, because we just did that. So Cloak is here, too. So we have Surprise Attack and Cloak. Now let's draw the second one, and the second card goes here, which is Gene. Wow. We have a lot of stuff to buy, but everything is so darn expensive. It's ridiculous. Okay, so let's go ahead. One, two, three, four, five. And now, now what we have is we have three Courage, one Thrust, in one maneuver or a maneuver card. The player to your right looks at the top four cards in the main deck and places them back in any order, which is awesome. And you're gonna find in this game there's a lot of co-op cards. Like the co-op is highly integrated in this. That certain cards that you buy will target one of your co-op players so that they can do special things, just like this maneuver card. Um which is long distance scouting, which is I, I love that. That's one thing that's so amazing in this game. So Mikasa is going to go ahead, since we're going to play this, so it gives Aaron a movement of one, and then there's also Thrust, which gives them a movement of two more. So we can go one, two, so we'll have Aaron come out here. Um, and what's going to happen is Aaron also has power of three, right? So let's go ahead and resolve this long distance that he played. So long distance allows Mikasa to come over here and look at the four cards and put them back in any order. Well, we're going to go ahead and shove that Titan all the way down here because we don't want that appearing anytime soon. And then the three power from the Courage that Aaron has played, it, it destroys this Titan because this Titan only has defensive power of three. So you need three, you got to pay three power to satisfy the cost of defeating this Titan. Okay, so that's done. So now Mikasa is going to go ahead and go. Let's see what she's got. She, she bought a lot of 3D gear. I'll be surprised. Yeah, there you go. 3D gear. Um, so she's got a thrust, which gives her two. Two movement. And then she's got three courage and a 3D gear. That gives her four power. Um, but what we're going to do is... And that it gives her enough to buy... These, yeah, okay, see, let's see what we got here. We got fuel canisters. Choose two heroes in your space. Each of them gain 3D gear from the stack and puts in their hand, which is amazing. Uh, we have heroic sacrifice plus one and draw a card. Uh, what are we going to do here? I think, and then we have this one here, which is move one plus four power if you play or have played one or more equipment in this turn. Otherwise, plus two power. I think we're going, to do, we're going to spend some of her movement points because she's got three movement points. And then she's got four power. But I'm going to put this 3D gear back 
Because if you this says if you put this 3D gear back on the 3D gear stack, you gain an additional move two and an additional plus one power. So she just gained two power off of that card, plus the three power she has in here to be able to satisfy the power cost of getting surprise attack. So she purchased that. So now that's in the discard pile. There we go. This kind of moves up in its spot. So she's here in this interior. He's out here. Um, I'm going to use, actually, you know what? I'm going to move Aaron back with the remaining move that he had on his turn. I just didn't do it, but I would have done that. I probably would have moved him back anyway. Uh, that way, if any Titans come out, then he doesn't get screwed. Uh, I don't think so, because I know we, we had that one move ability where we can, uh, that one ability where she, Mikasa was allowed to put the cards back in any order. Okay, so now the next next round goes we have a location which is a hospital so this hospital has an ongoing effect that heroes in this district may use this card once during each of their turns pay three move to destroy a wound you control or in your discard pile wow that's awesome that is awesome okay so that goes there for somebody to purchase. And then the next card gets flipped up. And now you notice that every single district has a card. That means the next card we flip up has to go to the very first district out furthest with the next avail opening, which is now this first district. This one is in sick. This is a Titan trap. It costs seven. Draw a card for each Titan in this district. Place the Titan Trap token on the wall in this district. At the end of this round, the wall takes no damage, then remove the token. That's pretty crazy. That's a good way of preventing your, your walls from getting any damage. Um, so no Titans appeared, and that's fine. Let's go ahead and draw five, and we'll have Aaron go. So Aaron goes. He's got a 3D gear. He go, he's got two 3D gears, which is great. Two Courage and a thrust which gives him two movement wow so he can buy a lot here he might buy this cloak i think he'll buy this cloak so he's gonna go ahead he's got four power but he's gonna return one of these 3d gears back to get him additional power so that he can buy 3d cloak so he's gonna buy 3d cloak that goes to his discard these all go to his discard pile now. And he's also going to... I'm going to spend the one movement to go here. And the reason why I'm going to go here is because in case a Titan comes out that has an ambush ability, I don't want this person getting screwed. So now Mikasa is going to go ahead and go. She's got... Uh, oops. I was supposed to draw a five. Here I am taking the whole entire stack. So draw a five. She's got a 3D gear, two thrust, and... Two courage. So she can move four, and she's also got um, three power. Four, possibly. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and move one. She's going to end up putting the 3D gear back to get another one to get four. So now she can get fuel canisters, and she buys that and puts it in her deck. And now she is done. Now, if you notice, the hole is here, right? Remember, when the cards come out, the first available spot, first available district, that's where he gets placed. So, next one is reel in, which gives you move one. Choose a her hero in this district to draw a card and discard a card. Another great co-op style card. And now we have the 10 meter titan ambush. Each hero in this district gains a wound. But guess what? There are no heroes in this district because I was smart enough to move them out. Haha. -ha. Excellent. So... This is how the market is always building up. You're always at the beginning of the round. You're always bringing out Titans on the outside in order to beat them. When the Titans, at the end of the round, each standard Titan will deal one damage to a wall, which means one of these uh, damage markers. If it's an arc enemy Titan, it will actually do two at the end of the round if you haven't killed the Titan yet which will obliterate one of these wall tiles completely. Unless you have a hero outside with the Titan that will take a wound card in exchange for not losing one of these wall tokens. So let's go ahead and go into this. Um, so, okay, so we just drew that. So that's out there. So now Aaron's going to go ahead. We'll do a, a light shuffle here. We got 
three courage, 3D gear, and a thrust. So he's going to go ahead and move. He's got two move from the thrust. One, two. Right? He's got four power, which is not enough to kill this titan because it's five. Right? But he does have a 3D gear is one of them. So he's going to remove the 3D gear into this, which gives him additional power plus two more move. And that gives him the five he needs to kill the Titan. And since he's got two more move, he can spend one to come back here and then one to come back here for safety. Okay? And there you go. So this... So his deck just got smaller by one card because he wasn't able to buy anything. But he was able to kill a Titan. So Mikasa is going to go. She's got three cards here. And then... See what she's got. She's got, oh wow, she's got five power. Look at that. Plus, she can get rid of this 3D gear in order to gain two movement and an additional power. So she's got five power. What um e destroy a hero in your hand or discard pile. Okay, let's see which one this one here. Choose a hero in this district draw. I like this one a lot. Uh what else? She could get six power, possibly. Oh wow! Um, I'm I'm so I'm gonna go ahead and discard her 3D gear back to the 3D gear pile, so she gets an additional power plus a movement of two. So now she can move two over here, and she's got six power, and she's gonna go ahead and buy this ally gene, which gives anytime I play this card, she will get power equal to the amount of move she's generated this turn. Which is kind of sick. So if you have a lot of move maneuverability cards and you play Gene, you're going to get a lot of power to go with that, which is fantastic. And now that ends, we go to the next round. Okay, now we get a Titan. We have a 5-meter Titan. Ambush each here in this card. Discards two Thrust cards. Um, four or more players discard two move cards instead. Okay? So... Cards like this that have ambush and they call you to dis cause you to discard. I mean, when you're done playing the player, when the player gets done playing their turn, they immediately have to draw five. So even though I wasn't doing that here, each time I played my cards, I immediately have to drive draw five. So when this ambush kind of came out, if I had a a, a a player in this district, that could have affected my hand. And that's another reason why I don't like having people too far out in the very far district. Because that is the first place where a Titan's gonna hit. And ambushes cause issues where you, you get crushed on your hand. And here we go. Now the second card's a nine meter Titan. And ambush each hero in this district destroys an ally in this district. Each who cannot destroy an ally in their hand. Okay, so each who cannot destroys an ally in their hand instead. I he doesn't have an ally in his hand. Aaron does not have an ally. And there's no ally in this district, a card here. So nothing happens, which is fantastic. Um, all right, so then go ahead. So Aaron's going to go ahead and play his cards. And he's going to, you know, obviously he's going to try to come out here and, and, and nuke some of the Titans. And every round is just like this. You bring cards into your districts. You buy cards with power. You step outside. You step on the outside of your district and you attack a Titan and kill it. And you have to work together to find the best way to do this. Now, the Arc Titans and Enemy Titans, and the, and the, the game the gameplay is going to be the same for every round. So I'm just going to go ahead and skip skip ahead to the Arc Enemy Titan and just show you what that card is. Okay, so in this one, it would, it would have showed up later on down in the line. Way down the line, actually. It was like 10 cards down or something. So here's the Smiling Titan. So this would have been the first Arc Enemy Titan that we faced. And this one is, at the end of each round, each hero in this space must reveal a move card or gain a wound. Interesting. And when this arc enemy titan gets flipped from the deck, it's just like these titans. It gets flipped on the next available space that's open from the outside to the castle, okay? Okay. The thing that's different about these Arc Enemy Titans is that they have health. They have a power that you must satisfy in order to kill it. This is kind of like the kill 
requirement of the card is so this is the hardest thing about arc enemy titans so they have a health which you have these little tokens that the game gives you and these are damage tokens so these titans as they stay out and they take damage let's say if i were to move here and i was dealing damage i would have to put damage markers on this titan and same with the other players when the other players come out here and they're fighting the same titan and they're using power they have to damage the titan and the first thing you have to damage is the health this titan arc enemy titan has 13 health you have to damage 13 health and then after you satisfy the damage of the 13 health you have to ha have six or more power to kill this titan so get its health down to zero and then go in for the kill in which you have to pay that entire amount to kill it uh, that is the only way you can kill these arc enemy titans now the difficult part about the arc enemy titans is that they have titans on attack so this this arc enemy requires let's say if i had put 13 hit, hit damage to it right let's just put let's just go ahead and do 13 uh what does he have on there now 12 or 11 so there you go let's let's say these two were out here and they had put 13 damage on that arc enemy titan right um so so now they have to come up with kill shots so let's say the next round comes around and then now Aaron's up and he's got to do a kill shot. He needs to hit it with six damage. He would need to play at least a cards that have at least a power of six. But the problem is, though, is that you have to overkill it. And the reason why you have to overkill is because these Titans, when you're going for the kill, they have Titans on attack cards in which you draw the very first one. So this one right here says... Add three to this Titan's cost this turn. Each hero in this district discards a random card. Um, and that's what makes this game difficult when you're facing these arc enemy Titans. Is because when you're going in for the kill, you have to draw one of these Titans on attack cards. Which boosts the Titan. So a lot of times when you're going for the, the kill shot, you're not going to go for six for this one, right? Like if I were trying to fight this and I had, you know, more powerful cards because this Titan didn't appear until later anyway, I would probably overkill it. Instead of spending six, I'll probably spend like 13 or 15 power or something to kill, to overkill that six. That way, when you draw this Titan's attack, these Titans on attack cards and they amplify the Titan or they get rid of one of the cards you played to make that 13 damage or whatever you needed to kill it, then you'll still be able to kill the Titan because you overkilled in order to cover the Titans on attack card, which is the nastiest part of this game. That, that's what makes the arc enemy Titans so hard to kill because these guys can destroy an entire wall boom with one one shot at the end of the round because they do two damage these guys only do one damage removing one of these tokens for a wall but yeah but once you defeat all four of these arc enemy titans that are in this deck and they get harder as you go down because with a complicated setup with this deck they get harder and harder as you go down into the deck. Eventually, this is the level one. And, and right here, you can see it on the right side. It says Arc Enemy One. This is the level one. This is the level one Arc Enemy Titan. Eventually, you're going to get to these other ones that are Arc Enemy Four, Three, and Two, which are a lot harder. Like the Arc Enemy Four has a kill of 15, but also a health of 25. Which is crazy. The Colossal Titan, which is the hardest one in this, has a health of 40. And I forget its kill shot. Its kill shot uh, that you need to set the, the power you need to pay for its kill is like is really high. I can't remember what that is. It's in the deck here somewhere. Um, 
But that's it. So you got to defeat all four Titans to win the all four Arc Enemy Titans in the deck to win the game without losing too many characters to die, without losing your walls that will cause an instant tailless failure, without running out of cards in the main deck. That is how you play Attack on Titan. This deck builder is it's it's actually a fantastic deck builder. And it's so heavily focused on co-op play. And it's it's just it's I mean I actually enjoy it. It's it's fantastic. It's probably one of the better uh, co-op uh, card games I've played. The only drawback to this game is that they don't have an expansion yet for this, which is kind of disappointing. And I wish that this game would have an expansion to add more variety in the cards that you can use. I also noticed that you know if you look at these Arc Enemy Titans, you know the Colossal is in the deck. But if you look at these Arc Enemy Titans, what Titan is missing from the anime? Yeah, the Beast. There's no Beast Titan. I wish they would have another expansion, or some, well, actually their first expansion would be nice, in order to add additional Arc Enemy Titans and to, uh, to add different types of gear and different types of cards. Uh, right now, it's just limited to like equipment, maneuvering, power, uh, locations. Um, wound cards, but I wish they had an, an allies, but I just wish they had a little bit more variety um, But the but the the gameplay itself in this game is Fantastic. It's great co-op play. It's one of the better cryptozoic uh, card games. I've seen I wish the manual was printed better, but hey, whatever um, But yeah, but that's it. So this is attack on Titan. It is the deck building game it's a great game, guys. Uh, I definitely, definitely highly recommend it. It's tough as nails, and but it will. It's it's a good time if you want a tough co-op play game that you can play with your friends. Here you go. Anyway, I'm out of here. I'm Jim the Game Guru, and I'll see you in the next video.